The word tissue is derived from a Latin word meaning to weave. The cells are woven together with extracellular fibers to form the tissues. At the end of this chapter, you will be able to define tissues, list various types of plant tissues and understand their functions. Define xylem and phloem. Differentiate between xylem and phloem. The various parts of the plant like their leaf, root and the stem are all organs of plants. Like animal tissues, these are also made of tiny units of cells. We will examine a cell membrane. Take a real leaf and tear it. Look at the edge of the torn part. It is light in color. Now peel the light colored part and put it on a slide. Add a drop of water. If you observe this under a microscope, you will find the cells. We can see the cells with membrane. We'll begin by cutting it into two halves. Peel off the thin layer using forceps. Spread the thin peel on the glass light. Put a drop of water on it. Add a drop of iodine solution to it. Place a cover slip on it. Tap gently with a needle on the cover slip to remove air bubbles. Place the slide on the stage of the microscope. Small chamber like structures called cells can be observed. Each cell contains prominent vacuole, nucleus and cytoplasm. Look at this beautiful money plant here. This plant is growing month by month at a fast speed. Plants generally grow where meristematic tissue is present. These are rapidly dividing tissues. They are generally present at tips of the stem and the roots. Some other characteristics of meristematic tissues are Meristematic cells are living, cubical and thin-valved. Each cell has a large nucleus. Cells are closely packed with no intercellular spaces. Depending on the region where they are present, meristematic tissues are classified as apical, lateral and intercalary. Apical meristem. These tissues are found in root tips and stem tips. They increase the length of the plant. Primary growth of plant, that is, the growth in length of a plant, happens because of apical meristem tissues. Intercalary meristem. They are found between mature tissues. They occur at the base of the leaves or at the internodes. They help to increase the length of the internodes. They occur in grasses and regenerate parts removed by the grazing herbivores. Lateral meristem or cambium. Such tissues are present at the radial portion of the stem or root. Secondary growth or the growth in thickness of a plant occurs because of the lateral meristem tissues. The meristematic tissue can be summarized as follows. Types of meristems. Type, location, function. Apical meristem. Tips of stems and roots. Growth, increased length at tips. Intercalary meristem Between the tip and base of stems and leaves Growth Increased length between nodes Lateral meristem Sides of stems and roots Growth Increased diameter Oh, now I understand why this bunion tree in your garden is so fat. I mean thick because of the lateral meristem tissues <laughs> yes, you are right. 